Hi guys, it's Elie V and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very chatty get ready with me video. If you want to see that, please keep on watching. So for this video, I talked a lot about a lot of different things about boys, about thicker self-confidence, about depression, anxiety, Instagram, social media, you know, all them stuff. I literally went went in, so I might have gone on a little bit too long. I apologise. If you want to hear that and hear what I have to say, you know, it's coming up next. And then for my hair, of course, the link down below is EDBU hair. My top, top, is AX Paris. Also linked down below as well, guys, if you want to check it out. But um, I've got you. Anyway, guys, before I talk too much before you get into the video, let me let you watch the video. <laughs> so let's get started, guys. So this is my first ever chatty get ready with me video. I hope you come together well, because hands up, I am not one of multitasking. Literally, for a woman, I know. So, fingers crossed um something gets done well so i think i might chat more i might do my makeup more one or the other but anyway let's try and get into it i'm gonna use a boring my primer i'll list them all down below guys um so i'm not i'm not talking for too long because i personally find it quite hard to do like um tutorials i don't know why other people seem to do it so well on you know, youtube it's like it's a big thing and i'm a makeup artist but i just find it so hard all right, to, to explain, to demonstrate, or articulate what I'm trying to do or say. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Spice Eyebrow Pencil. I can't even talk right now to my eyebrows, guys. I can't, like, seriously. All right, let's see. Uh, my mouth is moving, my hand is moving, I, so I might come back after eyebrows done. <laughs> my concealer, I'm gonna use two concealers. I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Fix in NC45, and then the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in a pure beige. For the bottom for the pure beige and then the studio fix for the top i'm in between shades right now because i've got a tan you cannot see from the because light is quite bright but i've got a tan um so i usually move some foundations but i recently went into this to the mac store when i got the eyebrow pencil i picked up a sample because they now have a 46 and a 47 i don't know how old this is or how new it is but for me it was like a brand new information so i was like oh okay because i was like 50 was too dark and i usually wear a 45 but i'm too too dark now for 45 anyway so back to my conversation so uh, you probably noticed on my instagram i have a new instagram guys <laughs> yes um a lot of people have asked me what happened what's, what's wrong what's going on what happened because it's a really big deal to start afresh like you know growing numbers and likes is a, is a currency you know so it's like letting go of that is a big 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 deal um and obviously i thought i've been thinking about it for a very long time anyway i always wanted to do it but i've been scared because once again i'm like oh my god my followers my followers but you know but recently what i found is like i think obviously because i've been on instagram for so long and when i first started when i first started with instagram i wasn't like a blogger i was just you know i was a makeup artist and i used to post my clients my work and stuff like that so my growing my growing my following grew from there and i think most people that were on there were on there for for the makeup side of things so when I, obviously this year um i transitioned you know i changed my my life a little bit it's not, it's not that deep to be honest but um i no longer do hair makeup um i am now a full-time fashion plus size fashion blogger but obviously say, saying that though obviously it's a lifestyle blog i do you know fashion travel hair makeup everything together is what a woman would need to look and feel pretty every so often i'm not saying that you need that to look and feel pretty but it does help every so often um so yes i think maybe people that are following me from there um they're not really interested in most of my my fashion pieces so and i found that honestly it was really bothering me like my engagement was so so low and i found it was affecting me uh, like i literally was getting stressed and panicky and worried and anxious and cringy like oh my god nobody likes me oh my god you know and then i'm like I, once i started seeing the key signs that affected my mental 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 health and i'm not start panicking and worrying and getting a lot of insecurities and i'm like do you know what no 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 this is not meant to be this deep obviously it's, it's a job is work social media is work for me um so i i put in a lot more effort than obviously a, a person that's not using it for a job would do but on the other hand it shouldn't be this hard it shouldn't be this difficult it shouldn't be this i know people jobs are stressful but i'm this is the industry like this is meant to be fun and you know cool so i just thought no 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 i still feel like a while half mid this year i've wanted to do it i'm just like so funny enough funny thing is that actually twice 
I think this year and last year, I took off at about t first time I took up 15, second time I took up 10,000 followers. So this app I use, Cleaner, uh, on my phone, literally I use it to literally find out your inactive followers, your ghost, fo ghost followers, but not following, you know, give you a little analytics and then you can remove them. It takes forever because you can only do 50, I think, per hour. So imagine taking off 15,000 people. That took me like, you know, two weeks, three weeks. So I did it the first time. And honestly, when I did it, I think I was on 45 or 50. I did it, I came down to like, I think 35. <gasps> when I did it, I remember feeling, oh my God, I felt like okay, follow But I remember feeling not good. I felt, I felt like my value had gone down. And I just didn't like the feeling, but it was lucky like it was temporary. It was literally just for like a day. After a day, I just felt so much better. I felt refreshed. I felt, you know, the people that are on there are people that want to be around me that happened my following grew again i think for me 50k is like the, the cap when i start getting panicky um got to 50k again same thing people were just not really engaging i feel like i follow me in groups i'm really grateful for thank you guys for choosing to follow me and that's amazing um but they don't you guys don't engage with me so once again in my, i'm in my head in my feelings thinking i'm not good enough you know compared to other people because other people are getting you know good engagement obviously i know the algorithm thing happened to a lot of people See how I'm talking so much and I'm still in my foundation. Oh yeah, I'm having a lot of breakouts as well. Oh my god. Um but I know I have a breakout. Um it's dairy. I'm allergic to is this is it allergy if you get a pimple, but anyway, if I have dairy, I break out and then last week it was hot and I went and had the had was an offer, so I got it and I had it. I actually oh guys, can you guys comment below if you have hugging that and what's your favourite like flavour? Um mine is strawberry cheesecake. Oh shh. They get me all the time. They get me all the freaking time. So there's one there. There's one there. There was one there. There was one there. It's life. It, it happens with life anyway. So pimples are pimples. They come. They go. Look enough for me. At least they go. Um, they're not giving me a bit of dark spots. Um, so I'm going to have to lich. My eyebrows are not equal. I can see it. But I'm going to get over it. Um, so back to what I was saying about my Instagram. So anyway, I just find that it was just literally affecting me. I was just not really keen on. I love taking pictures, guys. Literally, I, f I feel like maybe I should become a photographer. I don't know, like you know. But the reason why that is, like, I like taking some kinds of pictures. Not, I like making people look pretty. Like, that's the only reason why I got into hair and makeup because I literally got into because I wanted to make people look and feel pretty. I get a lot of joy when I see people feel good about themselves. People argue and say you should feel good for yourself from within, but until it's, it's, it's hard, not everyone can do that. Until you get there, you know, having a little. A little thing to help boost that confidence is never a bad thing. So I got into that. So to me, a photography, like when I'm out with my friends, I'm the designated photographer because I'm like, I will not stop until we get that perfect shot of you. Like we have, you have to look good. Like you have to look good. And like I love taking pictures anyway. And I found like people, you guys don't seem to like them. And afterwards, I started feeling like I wasn't good enough because you guys didn't like them. Back to what I was trying to say. The reason why I started afresh is like I started afresh because I, I want people to follow me at uh, people that are interested in what I, what I have to say and do right now. So all I'm about right now, it might sound cliche, but it's all about self-love, body confidence, being positive and just a loving space. I want my space to be a very encouraging, loving space where we come together and support one, one another. It's not, not about it's not about showing off, it's not about negativity, it's not about flouncing, it's not about stunting. It's literally about being the best version of yourself. And uh, people obviously have different oh yeah another comment please guys could you guys comment down below what you understand body positivity to mean to you because obviously everyone has a different opinion about it people think like if you're body positive you shouldn't want to lose weight if you're body positive you shouldn't work out if you're body positive you shouldn't do hair and makeup you shouldn't like you should accept yourself as the way you are i think i want to talk about is actually dating who knows i might end up doing these videos in a proper individual chatty video let me know if you guys rather do you know i would prefer to do a sit down talking video where i'm not distracted um but i know that some people don't really find that interesting just hearing me talk because really and truly most of you guys are here for my body don't lie don't lie oh my god dating is something i want to do proper topics on um because it's very it happens to all of us we all go through things with dating but i find it you know once again difficult to be expressive because you don't want to say A and then B gets offended. But I've, I'm learning that, you know, in life, whatever you do is stupid, I don't get offended anyway. So just do you. And also, I'm going to always obviously do disclaimers because my opinion changes every day, every week, every month. Like, I don't, I might think this way today and then next week, next month, I think differently because I've seen something different. So I, I'm always worried about saying something today and then being quoted. But last week, last month, last year, you said this. And I'm going to be like, well, that was last year. Bloody hell, man. 
I'm older and wiser. <laughs> you know, that was yesterday. Whoa, it's been a new day. I'm older and wiser. <laughs> but that's gonna be my own comeback because that's always in my fear of like coming across like contradictory. But life is a contradiction to be honest. But I think I've been single most of my adult life. So, and I've been single like I've had a boyfriend, but I'm always people are always sniffing around so i've dated when i say dating as well dating means going out and date, getting to know people seeing people so i don't know what you classify that to be um but i classify dating as somebody i i want to see a potential with that there is chemistry there's hand holding or smooching or something is for me it's really physical i'm not really into physical jingy, 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 until things are confirmed <laughs> you know but so when i say dating i date quite a lot like i see a lot of people because i'm single and I'm sociable sometimes, so um, yeah. So if you guys want, if you guys, if you guys want to hear my dating stories, I have so much dating stories, guys. <gasps> so much. Just imagine at least ten years of dating, and let's say if I go on at least one date a month, let's do the maths. I have a lot of dating stories, guys. So if you want to see that, comment below. Come at you. Hey guys, so I finished my eye makeup. I'm gonna add this eye like, lower lashes, one for one onto my eyes let's get it on so there we have it literally so i use like my black eyeliner to kind of make the line um black so it's not just clear get the glue put it on i love a fresh one because guess what guys i can literally just apply the glue on there and it just stays there look so anyway i don't think i've actually gone on a date this year if i have i'm sorry i forgot you i'm sorry um quite forgetful um but this is the year i think i haven't gone on a date yeah anyway i'm planning on going on, I, I plan i plan on dating again this year i think i'm ready like let's do this but i don't think it's harder now than before like I literally i'm 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 of the more obstacles that were not there before you know plus size dating how do you guys experience it? Okay, how do I say this without sounding like a freaking weirdo? Let me just get into it. Let me just be transparent. Let me, no filter. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. Okay, I'm Nigerian, as you might know. I'm thick. And I've never really experienced any qualms with, like, say, with male attention. I think if anything, I'll be more opposite. Like, I get the wrong attention. I get a lot of guys that want to damn girl what i want to do with you like it's almost very sexual they want to get in they want to bang i really get guys that be like oh my god you're so beautiful i, I want to marry you i want to date you, you know it's always very much of the banging so as in my dating experience it's always been very off-putting so i've never really been one to really rush to try and date because you meet people within a day or two hours let's have sex you're like shh to fly i'm like i don't even know your name <laughs> i don't even know where you live <laughs> why do you want to do it anyway so that's the space i've always had but so one hand so i was like okay i've always i've only ever dated um within my race and actually only ever dated nigerian men actually come to think about it i'm using a mineralized deep dark powder just to kind of contour and warm up my face so it doesn't look too ashy as it looks look on camera the thing about nigerian men so basically i went through this thing where i was like okay you know i don't want to date nigerian men anymore so the benefit thing about nigerian men i find them extremely attractive literally they just they are honestly amazing guys they've got the drive they've got the ambition they've got the swag they've got the looks they've got the you know charm they've got you know they, they have a lot going for themselves literally so you know i do love me a nigerian guy but what i found is the same way i love a nigerian guy a lot of people love a nigerian guy and a lot of nigerian guys don't i'm not what's the right word for it i'm not content they they want everything that's available to them so if a woman's on them they want it even if you're never on them they still want it so literally i find from my experience with dating is you're never enough for them they want more and it's never about having the one partner it's about having as much partners as possible and you know i am just to quote love island i'm loyal babe you know i want my juice to be loyal babe you know i want someone to be like a lot of loyalty both ways but i feel like an nigerian guy especially when i knew you know all of them you know it's very much of like even while you're there with them in their their face you like not to get vocal or whatever creepy but while you're you know whatever i'm sure you're still thinking of another trying to dim another girl like literally just they're never happy so i just anyway so I just thought you know i can't do i can't live this way i can't live with people that i can't trust that i will be enough will be enough you can we can build a life together just the two of us and then we you know do that they don't seem to be content so like, do you know what let me let me try and date outside my race um one reason why i did love nigerian guys as well because there's the ones that approach me nigerian guys approach me a lot like i don't approach guys because nigerian guys will see me anywhere and jump and be like you 
I want you're my type, you're my spec. <laughs> God, I just feel my camera. But anyway, they do that. Oh, I'm gonna use a highlight, the Mac Ooh, ooh la la, oh no, ooh darling highlight. Um, so obviously growing up with that kind of attention, you know, you kind of feel like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of a spice, okay. So I never really felt not necessarily wanted. Obviously I'm big, not, I'm not everybody's taste, you know, not everyone likes a big girl, so, but no, African men, oh, they love them a big girl. So, I'm like, do you know what? Nigerian guys with all the amazing qualities, they have really crazy qualities as well. Let me try dating different, like black guys, or well, after my race. So I just, that's why I went on Tinder. I went on Tinder last year, literally for the sole purpose, uh, sole purpose to meet someone outside my race because naturally my day to day life what I'm doing I don't tend to meet people and obviously some of them are not comfortable to come and talk to me and I'm not comfortable to go and talk to a guy because I don't know if I didn't like me because not every guy because I had this misconception that not a lot of white guys like thick girls they wanted more slimmer girls so I'm not about to go there and embarrass myself and be like hey talk to me he's like ugh you know so that's why I went on Tinder so I can blatantly put down there a picture of me and be like okay I'm full size I'm full plus size I'm thick you can work with this let's do this and then what was happening now was and I was the other end of the spectrum where as a black thick woman I'm not as desirable and that's why I didn't know before like now go, now being or trying to go somewhere else where they're not wanted so however they don't want me and I felt like westernized guys whatever race they are black purple white pink whatever but when they're westernized they just have been trained to like what the western people like which is the whole slender look if they like you because they want to they, they like the juice men naturally like juicy stuff anyway i've, I've learned but they want to have you undercover on the deal so they want to ban you and hide you but when it comes to being i'm seeing in public with you they don't want you and remember i'm kind of person where you know i've kind of grown up knowing who i am as a person i've never been I'm confident who I am because I'm like, you take me or leave me. And like, and usually when they leave me, I'm fine. I'm okay with myself. But now having to be around people where they want to hide me and be ashamed of me, it's something that's happened with recent that's not like making, giving me a head fuck. You know, I'm like, oh, sh oh, okay. I'm a dirty secret. Okay, wait, my lashes just moved. I'm a dirty secret. Whoa. Anyway, see, I said I stopped doing my makeup, haven't I? I'm just there talking about my makeup. And then also the white guys that were interested in me were very fetish um very do you know what it's so funny how like one guy he's never he's not even white i think it was asian um i'll, I'll probably insert a screenshot because actually yesterday he i was going to tinder he dm'd me we were talking on, on tinder conversation is very much like i don't know i want to, I want to sit on you i want to lick you what, what was he saying he was just very sexual and i found that a lot of the of the white guys or non non-black guys were very in, immediately sexual very much like i want to you know what i can just sit on my face to for me it was very demeaning i'm just like there's more to me than freaking sex but then funny enough the black guys on tinder we're actually nice and you guys will probably say it's tinder come on guys we read you on tinder tinder is not known for relationships obviously i was on tinder last year and i met a lot of amazing people um i made some friendship from there i had a few dates but not everyone's compatible my father all the black guys were actually respectful and charming and cool but obviously what tends to happen over time when you get to know them after a while it's like the same thing of them they want more they want every no 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 they want more they still want you like I, I, sometimes I, I rather you just dump me and go with somebody else i mean that's going to be painful but at least i don't know no i still want to keep you there no no no, no don't go anywhere stay there and they want to have the cake and eat it to have other girls around and how how the time they don't even hide it enough it's like anyway so for me it was just um what do i say anyway let me just set my face now before i talk to him i'm really getting creases in my mouth i'm going to use the makeup revolutions pro fix um, lip line, I'm actually going to use my Colourpop lip. I'm going to use the BFF3 and a Beep I've had it for so long, it's almost finished now. BFF3 is my fave. They're like $5 each, I think, or $6 and $5. I love them. Get them from the States. I don't know, what was I ever saying? Anyway, so I found like the black guys, that's not smart to turn talk with lipstick. And it's the lip combo I always do, guys. Literally, I did. I've done this for so long. This is the first lipstick I'm actually ever going to finish. I'm going to have to buy another one. Um, I think I'm done. I don't know if I'm even done. Like, I, I feel like I've lost something. I'm done. I forgot something. Hey. Huh. Tomorrow's another day for a better beat. I'm gonna rock this baby. She's called Candy. I'd like to have restyled her again, but I don't have time today. Um, yeah, the white guy actually on the date is really, really nice guy. We actually went on two dates. Um, he just really was. I mean, his person, he was, he was a really nice guy, honestly, he really was. But something he said to me, like, I literally, and he actually explained it to me and he said he, he didn't mean it by any malice, but I just couldn't get it out of my head. He's like, oh, he only dates, I think, did he say, don't correct me, like, he only dates black girls or only dates, like, 
dark girls, like cultured girls, whatever you call it, because they didn't say black girls because um, they're better lovers. And I swear to God, the red flag to me, I was just like, oh my God, I can't, like, what the hell does this mean? Like, I, I mean, obviously, he's explained to him later on the next date, like, okay, I thought a bit funny, but I goes, oh no, I didn't mean that. Well, he, because I, I felt like it came across to me like a be better lovers, like, once again, all we're good for is like, what sex? He's like, no, I didn't mean like love but I mean like they take care of their men well, you know, they're very caring, they, they take care of you, they cook, you know, they, you know, they treat you, even, you know, sex, oh, like, once again, calling me what, house girl, am I stocking on? So this is actually a lace frontal, um, but I actually rarely gel my lace down because I find, and I, I don't know, do you guys go through it as well? I actually sweat on my forehead right here like my whole head sweats a lot when I get flustered whatever you know when you just flossing you start getting to the to top lip I don't get that I get sweaty forehead so obviously using the got to be gel we all know is what water gets it off so when I have that on is there's no point we didn't we didn't 10 seconds 10 minutes maybe it comes off so I don't even bother as much so that's why I wear a lot more closures and frontals um but I got this unit just to play around with I'm gonna just do a little small little so I don't gel this part down so you can gel it to make it stick but I just usually have my hair like this so this one here I'll just put a little gel just to keep it slick I've got the little mini got to be clear the black one so I'm gonna just do the edge quickly anyway before I forget what I'm trying to say the whole gist was um more of the stories that I went there to kind of date outside my race and end up dating my race. So, um, I don't know. But I'm open to dating different kind of races anyway. But I think for me, what's important to me is just having someone as a good person. Someone who has a kind heart. Like, basically, I feel like nowadays people don't, people are very using mentality very much of like, I'm already into you or have you there on the side just to keep me, make them happy. They don't care about making you happy. It's about validating their own needs. And, you know, for me, I, I, that's why I've been very single where I can have a lot of guys in my life and play around with, but if I know from a job it's not gonna go anywhere. I, don't, I honestly don't want to scar people. I don't want it to be that guy that he now hates women because of me. I mean, I mean that's that's very deep. But I don't want to be that person that literally, like, I, if I know I don't really want into you, I want to be friends. And then whenever I have friends with a guy, they, they, they disappear. So guys don't like staying my life as friends, but hopefully one day that'll happen. But for now it's not happening. Um, but yeah, so what was my point of those parts? I've kind of totally forgotten, but um, <laughs> see, multitasking is the most difficult thing in the freaking world. Either I'm gelling my hair or I'm talking, one one or the other. We can't do both, darling. Um, but yeah, just, just for me, just a small little gel, nothing deep, just to cover, blend that bit, and I use the head to cover, and that's pretty much it. Anyway, guys, I hope, I hope my video made sense. Um, if you didn't, I, I apologize. If you like videos, I just let me know. I will do some more. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all. Love the support. And hopefully, you follow my new movement. Follow my Instagram. It's at EDBU. And then we just make, take over the world and by positivity and being nice. I think I'm done rambling. I'm done. I'm done. Bye. Love you. <laughs>